So Bina, today we're just having a look at some beautiful footage of you and the babies in your outdoor environment, yeah? Yep. This is outside your room with the babies at Gundu. Are you going to help me hide the big book? Yeah, I try and encourage a lot of um, choices where the babies can make themselves. They have rights to um, pick and choose what they want to do. So I try and do that and give them choices because mm. um, everybody's different, they like different things. Beautiful. Let me just encourage and um, respect their choice of where they want to play with and where they want to play with it. Put in the cup now. Put in so your materials seem to be uh, relevant to children, these wooden bowls and the beautiful scoops, the real scoops. I try to go for the natural stuff, is it? I'm trying to make the environment look as natural. Beautiful, a real connection That's to beautiful. home and learning and sustainable environments. Sustainable, yep. There's a ball, Capri. <gasps> put the date on it. You're going to put the date on it? As you can see now, there's a little learning in here about the um, about the balls. They're learning the size difference through language, as well as playing with the balls. Yes. Um, you see, we've got the small ball, and I talk about the colours and the size, the mm. texture of the balls. So that's all maths. Maths, Stone, science, measurement, science measurement, weight. The play in the games with them is don't just cover the one area. It covers the cognitive. Mm thinking, language, they talk a lot to the children, um, to the babies, just to try and encourage language. <gasps> Quickly hide it from Brookie. Brookie's gonna get it now, look. Where's the ball, Brookie? It's, they're taking that language in, and they're finding meaning, concept. Sharing literacy and community language, language. also. Yes. Yeah. You're singing a twinkle twinkle there and before singing another song Incy Wincy, so being able to be spontaneous with your um, routine and again building on that literacy for children. Yeah, it's also their interest, they love twinkle twinkle little star, so now that they want to sing it and it's their favourite um, and Incy Wincy Spider, that's a new one, but we, we were singing that song when it rains as well. And talk and about talking what's about real what's and, real and what's, what's in our real. environment and country. Well, also, yeah. And the way you design the environment and the way you uh, support the children, your pedagogy of practice here, um, yeah, obviously it enables that solitary play. Someone's in a basket there on his own. Just um, to support whatever the child is ready for. It's encouraging, I think it's just important, as important for the child to have some me time for themselves and then just as much as it is to have group time. I think it gives the children time to reflect and observe and see just as much as um, whereas our educators do. Mm. We're not, um, not isolating babies from each other, but encouraging them to interact with each other seems a very strong part of the practice in your room. And we mainly try and connect children to all things that's going on in our community, um, because at the end of the day, it don't take one person to raise a child, it takes a community, and that's what we are, and that's what we try and um, enforce not just in the centre here, but in our community. Mm.